Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with another exciting lecture regarding the abdominal hernias. Today we'll talk about the abdominal hernias and in this particular talk, topic we're going to talk about the abdominal wall anatomy, uh, basically what kind of the structures are forming the anterior abdominal wall and the posterior abdominal wall and what are basically the factors which are leading to the abdominal wall herniation. We'll define what is basically the hernia and what are the anatomical causes in the formation of this hernia. Also we're going to talk about the pathophysiology because uh, pathophysiology of every disease is very much important. Like what are the causative factors, like in case of the hernia, there can be the collagen vascular diseases or there can be the genetic or acquired causes in case of, in case of acquired, there can be a trauma, there can be a previous surgery, there can be a previous scar. So all these things in case of the intra-abdominal tumor or pregnancy or other causes, there is increase in the intra-abdominal pressure. So so we will also talk about a little bit about the pathophysiology and what are the causative agents for the for the formation of the hernia. We'll also talk about the hernia composition. We'll talk in detail actually how is hernia is formed and basically what are the contents of the hernias. Maybe it can but the contents can include the fat, can amentum, can include intestines. So we'll talk about the herniation, um, hernia composition specifically, the fundus, the body, the neck and the contents of the hernia as well. In this particular lecture, we also talk about the diagnosis. We know that we to make a particular diagnosis, we need history, we need clinical examination, and also we need the particular investigation as well. So mostly the hernia is a clinical diagnosis. We make our diagnosis on the basis of history and clinical examination. What are the things you need to ask the patient, particularly in the history, or what are basically uh, the steps of the examination you need to follow uh, in case of the patient who's coming to you with the swelling or the hernia? And what are the further investigation like X-ray, ultrasonography, or MRI or CT? Uh, so these are basically the investing, uh, investigating modalities. We'll also talk about these as well. We'll talk about the management strategies as well, which hernias to operate, uh, which hernias are not to operate, or in case of the uh, surgical options, in case of surgical operation, we have the open repair, we have a mesh repair hernioplasty as well. So we'll also talk about the management strategies as well. And we also will also talk about the surgical approaches as well. Like if you're if you're play, if you're doing an open repair or if you're uh, positioning a mesh, so what kind of the positions you need uh, to make? Uh, you need to, the spaces, maybe the sublay, inlay, or onlay. We'll also talk about the surgical approaches as well, and we'll also talk about the types of the mesh. Like there can be biological meshes, there can be synthetic meshes, there can be other meshes as well. So we will also talk about the meshes and the hernia repair as well. Also, we'll also talk about the complications because every surgical procedure has complications. So we'll also talk about the complications as well. Um, there's a lot more lectures on our website. So you can always uh, visit cardia.com and you can find a thousand of uh, interesting lectures over there. So thank you for watching. Keep watching cardia.com.